here we are in the woodshed. <laughs> it's my storage room. But anyway, I thought um, I'd start making some little, not so much reviews, it's just to sort of get people um, here in different ARPs. I've got so many. <laughs> this is one of my newest ones here. It's a harpsicle. It's a, I don't know if you can see the other side of the harp. It's got sharpsicle, whatever, Rob, Robinson's. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is totally, totally frogging out because I'm getting old. <laughs> um, so before it completely frogs out, I'm going to make these little review thingies. Um, again, they're not so much reviews. I'm not comparing harps or anything like that. I'm just kind of celebrating them all. <laughs> uh, this one is their third version. There were, there are, I think so for four. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I've got them all. I, well, I had them all, except for, uh, I sold the most recent one um that they have made which has got um sort of this area here uh kind of flipped around so i don't know if you can see like um it's got a long strip of wood which is flush with the column they lengthened the column too in this third version but the fourth version they took this and they flipped it around this side and so this side would be over here <laughs> and um uh I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I think maybe the sound box might be a little skinnier on the fourth one. This one's kind of like the older first two versions. Um, I have another one of these harps. I saw this when I was sitting in Subway, <laughs> and uh, I just had to have it because I've got one just like it that I absolutely love. It's one of my favorite harps. I use it for gigging, and it's just a great harp. And um, so I thought, well, I'll get another one. You know, why not? I can't never have too many. And these are not so... Um, I don't know if they're rare, but they're not so um, uh, prevalent. I, I've only seen just a couple. I don't know how long they, they made these, this version of it. But it's a lovely sounding instrument. When I got it, um, the I noticed that the soundboard must have at some point, made, I don't know if this instrument was left in a car or in a hot attic or what happened, but um, somebody re-glued the whole soundboard all the way up and down. And you can even, if you look in the back, <laughs> keep taking this off, you can see like little, you can't really see it in here, but little rip, you know, the, tore the wood right off the soundboard. And it's getting quite a little belly on there. It looks um like it's really, really, you know, a very mature harp and it very well might be. It's just also it might be pulling up even more because it's not, um, you know, dead center is where it is. Like the, the um, outside is slightly bowed out a little bit. Anyway, nothing to do with... <laughs> The construction of this harp is just, you know, it was the way it was, you know, handled, I guess, when whoever had it before me. But, oh my goodness, what a sound. It's just lovely. strings. I don't really even like wound strings so much down there. muffs uh but boy i just wanted to kind of shout out about how nice this horn it horn <laughs> i've been playing the alto horn for a while to just sort of toot toot this little instrument because it's really great um and i can get the highest g the one i have um which is the same version of this kind of harp um has just a little less space here and so it's kind of hit or miss whether or not you get the g this one i can pretty much get it yeah three times in a row um, so anyway, that's what this one sounds like. <laughs> I'll put some more in later. Take two. <laughs>
This is a Ram Shaka video. <laughs> So you have to be kind of careful you don't overplay because it'll you can get that kind of thing. Uh, but the string spacing is good. It's not as narrow as the fourth version. Uh, not that the anything there's nothing wrong with narrow. You just get used to it. So um, you know every harp I switch to, I takes a minute or two to kind of get used to it. Um, it's equidistant too, so you don't have to kind of guess on the octaves. You know, if you can't see them, you can just kind of go by feel because it's pretty consistent. Um, String tension is, I'd say, maybe kind of on the lighter side. Uh, and the spacing is um, slightly narrower than the first, first two versions of the harpsicles, uh, but not really so much to really notice, just slightly. But uh, the fourth version, which is the one after this, is definitely noticeably narrower. So, um, you know, it just depends on what you like and what you're used to. Uh, I like the Robinson lovers. They were great. I mean, no problem. You just have to regulate them and tune them. They don't, they don't really sound, you know, really, you know, too different. Sometimes you get kind of a weird one, but uh, you can adjust it or you can change the string or I don't know. <laughs> Live with it. You can just retune it and not even use a lever. Um, I told the harpsicle folks, <laughs> I said, you know, you ought to break all your harps and then re-glue them because it just sounds fantastic. Angelic. Ha <laughs> ha.